What's up all YouTubes, it is Deej and I'm bringing you this first impressions, walkthrough, review, whatever you want to call it, video of Battlefield 3. It just came out the other day, I didn't play any modern, uh, multiplayer so I played just the campaign and I'm bringing you some highlights of the first two levels and what I like and dislike of the whole game. Uh, there's a bunch I do like, there's a couple things I don't like and I'm going to go over those and so what I do like right away is how they throw you right into... Uh, a suspenseful movie, uh, you know, a scene. It's, it's like I'm watching this, and I was I was sitting there going like, "Wow, this is pretty cool. I like this. What's it? Where's this going?" I mean, it, it seemed like a, I don't know, a fucking a movie where uh, someone's getting away, obviously. But anyway, I like how they did it, and they just like right here, they just throw you right into playing the game. And that, that kicked ass. I really like that aspect of this game. And as you can see, it throws you into the action right away at this subway getaway scene. The only way I knew it was a getaway or an escape scene is the guy's got handcuffs on the side of his arm. So, yeah, as you can see, you work your way through the, the subway. You fight with a couple dudes. You get rid of them a couple cool ways. This was a neat one right here. I liked it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, like most games, it's the it's patty caking along the way. You know, just make sure you can play a shooting game, I guess. We're all used to it, but not everyone that plays these games are used to it. Yeah, and this one ends right here where this guy... Uh, German, Russian, I don't know. It's always the Russians. <laughs> but yeah, that's what's cool about this. It's a modern day game. It's not like back in Vietnam or something. And I like the twist that this campaign has. As you can see here, I, as you can see, as you can see. God, I keep saying that. <laughs> uh, like you see here, they're, they're interrogating you. Um, it's it's like a, uh, a, a he's recalling all this fighting and stuff, but it's it's modern day. I like that part. It was that was really cool. And one thing about the characters, the bald headed interrogator here, he he's probably the best. The guy, it's pretty real looking. I like the the what they did here. That's I props to the people on their their people makeup and matching the words with mouths and stuff like that. They did really well there. So after they're done interrogating you, you get kicked out. Uh, like I said, he's remembering back in what happened, and it just plays through the whole story this way. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so it starts off going through all this stuff. Really good graphics. It was really cool, dudes. I was I was just like just looking around at things. It was it was really awesome. And so yeah, you you meet up with this dude down here. You're talking about what your mission's gonna be, and then. Uh, this this was a really good mission. It was pretty long. It was one of the longer ones. This I, I really considered this the first mission because that that train scene back there was like I said it was very patty cake and you know it's just shooting with a pistol. Nothing special. There's a lot of running in this one, but it gets into some serious action. But the atmosphere they they make it really realistic. I mean everyone's got the dogs and fences and stuff like that. But this one was really cool. The sounds were awesome. This game's sounds are fucking amazing. I think right here, yeah, right here somewhere. The just like I'll, I'll let you listen. I don't know. You didn't hear it much there because I got it turned down. Maybe I'll after editing I'll turn it up. But uh, it just all the sounds I was hearing had me turning around and checking my six and all that type of stuff. Man, it was really awesome. And then right there, you don't know what's going on, and your homeboy gets just slaughtered. <laughs> he got sniped. You save him, and it just busts into action. Um, if you've seen any of the trailers for Battlefield before it came out, you've seen all these clips. Um, that's what's cool. I was hoping that that wasn't like a, a big scene that they took it from. It was from the first level, so <clears throat> I'm, I'm pretty happy about all that. But yeah, this is a really action-packed scene. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of um, uh, protecting, and killing, and people flanking you here. There's the sniper above. That's the one thing I, I was weird out about because I'm pretty sure it's the building right in front of you. That's what's weird, is the sniper could got any one of us at any time there. That's the one flaw I've seen in this storyline right here. But the rest of the action where all these guys are coming out, this is a really cool scene. It had me at the edge of my seat. Uh, but like I said, it, this is all in the 12-minute um, the trailer that came out months ago, so I, I kind of knew what was going on. Uh, didn't mean it dictated what I did here, but uh, anyway, uh, you, you hear a lot of good... Um, you know verbiage from your teammates or your 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 crew there whatever anyway uh so yeah it moves on from there it's 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 i was this is probably the best level i gotta say there, there's some cool levels in this game with the combination of this whole this whole scene from start to end in the first maybe it was just because it was the beginning of the game i don't know but it was to me the most action-packed thrilling part of this whole game it kicked fucking ass
So since your homeboy got capped down there, you're all going after the sniper that did it, and he's in the building, the motel or whatever, across the way. And uh, as you can hear, it's a fucking 50. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you're, if you're a parent wanting to know if this is good for your kid, uh, I mean, if they play these games already, they know the word fuck. But if they don't, <laughs> you might want to wait on this one. Uh, it's a really good game, and it's really graphic. The, well, actually, there isn't a lot of blood. I mean, there's a couple scenes where you stab guys in the necks, but you don't see blood. Uh, you, you see blood only from distance when you're, like, sniping heads and stuff like that. It's really weird. Uh, but anyway, yeah, pretty good scene here. I probably maybe should have cut it down to cut down the time, but I figured it was a good little action. Suppression! And they get him. <laughs> Pretty awesome little scene. Uh, but like I said, it's in the trailer that everyone's seen. Um, it's scene, scene. Oh, weird. Sending him. <laughs> uh, anyway. Pretty, pretty damn awesome game, I gotta admit. I, I really like it, uh, but I'll, I'll say it now. Uh, it is short. The campaign is short. Uh, the one thing I don't like is since it's short and then they want to charge um, renters and used gamers to play the game, what is it, the online passcode or whatever, I think that's kind of chicken shit, to be honest. Um, you know, that's already $60, and it's a short as fuck campaign. Uh, their their excuses of that's how they're combating making money off of used gamers. I I don't give a shit. That's it's not people don't do that. It's like Chevy. They don't make money off of used fucking cars. Fuck that. You know what I mean? Uh, anyway, this is all wrapping up. It's getting to the end. Um, it is really cool. Uh, well, actually, no, it's not getting too much to the end. It's it's close. Uh, it's there's so much to this scene. It's it's awesome. I like it. It's it's fighting. It's there's great story to this whole scene. There's great story of the whole game, and that's one thing I do like. I do like the whole storyline that they did. It's really cool. Um, it it kind of resembles Black Ops a little as far as you know the interrogating and going over what happened and blah blah blah. Nice little fight scene right here. This was uh, in in the end. Get it? I, I cut it out. Like I said, I'm cutting all the boring stuff out. Just the highlights of this whole thing. Um, anyway, yeah, it resembles Black Ops a little, um, but so far way funner than Black Ops. Uh, as if any of you know me, I wasn't a big giant fan. Uh, now, anyway, this is wrapping up. Let me know if you guys like the way this walkthrough view is going. If if you do, I'll post more of it. I probably will post more, of it, but let me know if you want to want me to finish it. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, it's this is where it ends, like a big kaboom, <laughs> and a little timber scene. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, I'm gonna keep rendering this and playing some more. Alright, later.